Hi, it's Ashlyn again. Hey guys, it's Kelsey again, and this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. <laughs> Harrison's really excited. Ba, 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 where's the lot? So it was suggested at Harrison's preschool that the kids each make something for their teachers to show their appreciation for them this week. Of course, we jumped on that chance because we love doing crafty things. Teacher Appreciation Week is really important. I know there's a lot of teachers that I had in all my years of schooling that were really influential on my life that I probably didn't show true appreciation for at the time. This is kind of my chance to make it up for teachers everywhere by showing appreciation for myself and also from Harrison for all that they have done for him and for me throughout the years. We decided to decorate some little boxes for them. When we were at our store, we found little buttons it had Superman with it. That's right. And, we... where, and where is Superman on our boxes, too? We found some really cool superhero buttons. And even on a lid where it's sparkly ribbon. So we got the idea to do a fun little superhero comic book collage all over our boxes for our teachers. They open up, and there's even candy inside of them. And even where is red candy and blue candy inside. Okay. Teachers are superheroes. Teachers are definitely superheroes. <laughs> and we wanted to show them that. So check out how we made our comic book superhero boxes for Teacher Appreciation Week. Feel free to follow along if you'd like to show appreciation to the teachers in your life. We bought three boxes, a lot of comic books. We got some scissors, Mod Pods, three pairs of ribbons, red, blue, and black. We also used some superhero buttons to put on the top of each box. To make our comic book superhero boxes, we first cut out lots of pieces from various comic books. We lucked out because the day we bought our supplies was free comic book day, so we got a bunch of free comic books to use, though I did also purchase a few for some more recognizable characters, and it never hurts to support your local comic book store either. While cutting out pieces, we kept in mind color, patterns, and recognition. We wanted colorful boxes and some pieces that just had interesting patterns, but we also wanted to have a few recognizable superhero characters that we could feature as well. This project really tested Harrison's limited scissor skills, but it was great practice for him. The idea for this project really stemmed from a project I did last year after seeing Paul Mason's comic book shoes vlog for Geek and Sundry. I made some My Little Pony shoes and was hooked on this idea. Though the boxes aren't as intricate as the shoes, since I let Harrison have artistic direction on the project, they still have a really neat effect and were really fun to do. I'll put a link to Paul's channel and comic book shoe vlog in the description below. If you're into nerd crafting, you definitely need to check out his channel. Next, I had Harrison put a thin layer of Mod Podge all over the box surface and put pieces of the comic book collage all over. As he placed pieces, I put a layer of Mod Podge over the top of each piece so they could be layered and covered. I found it easiest just to use my fingers for this to help mold the pieces to the curves in the box. It's extremely messy, but very effective. Once the pieces were all on and the Mod Podge was dry, I put on two more thin coats, waiting about 30 minutes between each coat, just to seal things up a bit more. Word of advice, don't let them dry on paper towels like we did, use wax paper. Also, let them cure for about 24 hours before putting the lids in place so your lids don't get stuck. Finally, I had Harrison show me where he wanted the sparkly ribbon and superhero buttons and I hot glued them in place. Hey Harrison, what? what was your favorite part about making our superhero boxes? I didn't know what little superhero buttons are. What's your favorite part about your teachers, Harrison? It I do so much, so much nice things. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed our video today. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you also enjoyed it. And share it with your friends or share it with your former or current teachers to show them that you appreciate them. Hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any future videos. We do have some coming up soon. And leave me a comment below. Tell me about your most influential teachers and why they meant so much to you. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to stay geeky. Bye.